Hi guys, Frostfangs here, and welcome back once again, of course, to another Paladins video. We're going to be playing some Ash today. I've delayed this video a ton already. I've been wanting to do it for a while. I originally was just going to wait until she got her change reverted from Season 3, where they pulled her damage down and buffed out Slugshot. And today, for whatever reason, I just feel like playing Ash, and I don't really think it's going to make too big of a difference anyway. We're probably going to be playing with Fortress Breaker or Abiding Ram. Slugshot is kind of becoming the popular talent, but I'm sure once they remove the damage buff from it, it will go back to being kind of unused. Used. Obviously, other than the situations where you benefit from that speed and extra distance, like if you're going up against a bunch of flying characters or super fast characters, that sort of stuff. But yeah, burst cannon got pulled down to 360 from 400 in the upgrade patch. They'll be pushing it back up. So if you're watching this video after like a couple of weeks, then just take that into consideration that this will technically be a little bit better than it is now. Technically 10% extra damage per shot from where she is currently when I'm making this video. But we've got two different loadouts. I'll go through both of them. We'll pick one depending on the situation. I'll probably end up covering both. We have the Fortress Breaker setup, which is a little bit different to what most people rock and they go for Fortress Breaker. We've got Heavy Metal and Trebuchet, two level one cards that are semi-filler, but also, you know, pretty good, especially that one, which gives you two ammo for one point. Then we have Indomitable and War Machine, which give us lifesteal on our shots and also cooldown reduction whenever we get an elimination. Pretty standard cards, although Indomitable has become one that pretty much everybody runs and War Machine is one that I personally like quite a lot on Ash. And finally, we have Ramparts to pull down the cooldown of the Siege Shield by two and a half seconds from 10 at a seven and a half. The other setup is the exact same. It just has Gatecrasher instead to pull down the cooldown of Shoulder Bash instead of pulling the cooldown of the Q, obviously. And I'm sure there'll be a couple of you guys out there that are asking me, Spence, why don't you rock Siege Engine? It's a really good card. And I agree with you. It is a pretty good card. It reduces the cooldown of your Siege Shield by a second per level for each enemy you hit with Kinetic Burst. Really, really good because it means you can get a full reset with your right click for your Q pretty much any time you need it. But the reason I don't rock it is because I don't like Ash's right click. I just find it to be really, really awkward. I'll use it in some situations, but overall, but overall, I found myself to really just dislike relying on it for reset for the Q. So instead, Instead, I just max out ramparts and go uh, for reset on eliminations instead. But I will say, those of you guys, if you're going to really try hard playing Ash, I would recommend Siege Engine because most of the time it's going to be a better choice. I just don't like it, which is why I don't run it. I feel like I should mention stuff like that more often in videos, like really popular cards that I personally don't use because there's a decent amount of them. You know, stuff that I see pretty regularly on characters that I personally don't run just because it doesn't suit me. And, and I pretty much always recommend to you guys that, you know, use my loadouts and stuff to tweak them to your preference because, you know, everybody plays Paladins a little bit differently. One loadout might work for somebody and might completely not work for for somebody else but we'll go ahead and lock in our ash we've got tdm dragon arena we'll go for the scadron skin and then maybe we'll do uh, the scorned one for game two we'll see we got ceris and a grover seems like ash also resizes herself slightly i don't know if that was fixed on the pts or not but similar thing to what happens with the game which is kind of funny the final teams are ceris grover willow vivian and ash on our side we're up against andro mave zin a vivian and a willow so vivian on both sides but other than that it's pretty different because we have uh, the double healer and then ash meanwhile they have the triple flank double damage it seems like they have clumsy and also possibly mate not sure about the mave but i've definitely played with that zim before which is weird because usually when i play tdm i don't recognize people but i reckon we'll probably go for battering ram here because we'll go for onslaught siege in the next one and battering ram will be a little bit less useful than uh, that extra shield so yeah we'll go for the damage reduction here we'll do a little bit of an inspect for the weapon which looks really pretty i guess i can start out with haven and nimble yeah sure they're basically all direct here i'm just going to run towards the middle it's a bad idea but it seems like they all went for it as well that's weird that's probably the first time in ages i've had like five people go uh, towards mid we'll pop an f just hit the andro i don't know how the hell i didn't connect there but he's still dead i actually like the effects on this a lot the blue splatter has kind of grown on me a bit willow is jumping over she kind of failed so unofficial triple yeah sure there's the q i'm probably gone there's an f i'm going to use it to escape thank you for a uh, heal service i appreciate that i wonder if i would have died there if i didn't go uh, for haven to start off because i feel like that damage reduction actually just probably saved my life did they change the blue effects on this i don't remember them being actually nice i remember being really underwhelmed with the effects but i feel like if they changed it they would have uh, they would have noted it somewhere I, I don't know i remember the effects being really kind of crappy on this skin why do i like them i played with this before i played with it i think in december i remember not really liking the effects all that much not sure if it's because i played with it more and they've grown on me or if they have actually been changed i feel like they've been changed i might just be making that up though i don't know the alt thing just spawned right there so i should probably be careful never mind it was the mave we can just f ourselves over here and throw a shield down get a few more onto this vivian who's actually really low oh that shield's gonna suck but i maybe can f in onto it oh there we go she just got absolutely battered fam goddamn definition of that word i am dead yep okay fair enough mave we'll go ahead and I guess finish off Nimble? Yeah, sure. Max movement speed, Ash. Screw it. Uh, Vivian is kind of just walking into people, it seems. A little bit weird there. Vivian is really, really low. We should be able to get her even if she pulls the shield up because I can fire under it. She's dead. Let's get rid of this Mave as well, who's not looking too good. Grover popped an ult. Maybe we can save him. I'm going to F myself over here and still finish her off. Nice. 32 damage. He was on 30 goddamn health. Let's get rid of the Andrew. He pulled up his reversal. I'm just going to take it. I could have deployed my shield, but whatever. It wasn't that charged, was it? But we gen our ult. I'm just going to try and hold down the middle. Okay, I'll go ahead and yoink this. I probably should have left it for somebody else 
else, but I don't like risking enemy team getting it, so even if I'm full, I find myself yoinking it. The Maeve, I used Herald. I'm going to pop mine. Maybe we can get a slam. Oh, that actually worked. I don't know where she got stunned. Oh, there we go. Okay, I'm completely damage immune, so I don't know why people bother firing into me. Just kind of waiting to heal up from my lifesteal and stuff. There's the F. Jesus Christ, there is a Q. That was a pretty MVP smooth play, but I'm still gone because like three of them are chasing me. We're actually getting kind of bodied so far. If I have the same damage as some people on my team, I'm going to be kind of upset considering I've not been doing a particularly good job, and I also deal 360 a shot currently. I don't even deal 400. Let's get some hits up onto uh, the Maya Vivian. I'm going to try and knock you off the map. Is this going to work? Oh, goodbye. I'll see you later. She was actually popping her ult as well. Get some hits onto this Willow. She's not looking too good. I feel like I deal peanut damage. I really miss Ashes being goddamn 400. I say that as I get a double with a single shot. Okay, Andro is going up. I'm assuming for an ult. Uh, no, okay, there's my F. I'm just going to hit uh, the Zin. Did he just counter a battering ram? I'm going to go back towards middle, throw uh, the Q down here and get some more shots. I'm kind of just dealing poke damage at this point. Going to go F and see if I can get the Vivium. There's a hit. Oh, that didn't land, but there is a knock up. That's a Ceres solo ult. Not really sure why the Ceres ulted there. That was rather weird. There was nobody other than the Vivian that she could have even grabbed. I hit you with a shot there and you didn't take damage and your counter stayed up. Can they please fix that? That's so annoying. Going to go yoink this. I've got 98%. Uh, just did the same thing I did earlier. There is an ult pretty much instantly. There is a double stammer. We can finish off the Maeve as well. All right, Sarah's killed her. Let's get some hits into this Vivian as well. Nice. She is out and there is the defeat. I really did give that match my best effort there on Ash, but I feel like it was kind of the team's fault. I hate blaming the team, but it was definitely a bit of a weird one there because it definitely was not my fault there because I died like two or three times, I think. But Andrew is the guy I would top play. He gets a couple shots onto the Vivian, which is an assist. He dashes up. I think this is where he shot down onto me and I F myself into the Zin and then died. And I think he also kills uh, the Grover. Yeah, so that was a triple. Did he spray and dab at the end of that? That's kind of sad that that might be the last time I ever see a spray and dab in a top play because it'll be gone next patch. <laughs> Where we go, there are these stats for game one. Shoutouts to Rhino Pants, like the name that is uh, Willow. So yeah, we'll go through them top to bottom. Vivian did okay. Definitely could have done better. Same thing with the Grover. Same thing with uh, the Willow. I'd say same thing with the Ceres, but to a slightly lesser extent. We actually ended up with top damage on our side and we also shielded for 24k. We went 12 to 3. I feel like I, I, feel like I did fine there. I don't like blaming the team, but I honestly don't think I could have done much more than I was putting in out of that match, which is something that you do feel every now and again uh, with Ash. But, you know, none of them fed intentionally or anything, so it really doesn't make that big of a difference. It's a goddamn casual TDM. I'm not taking it that seriously. On their side, the Zin I did pretty good. Andrew did pretty decent. Willow did pretty average for that match. Maeve has way more damage than I thought she would have there. She had 51k. She's like 10k over everybody for some reason. Props to Maeve. And then and Vivian did slightly above average as well. I really put that down to Zim doing a bit above average, uh, Maeve doing quite a bit above average, and the Vivian also doing slightly over. But yeah, there we go. We'll go ahead and requeue uh, for everything other than TDM because I just did one. I will say the skin actually looked surprisingly good in that last match. The Q and the F aren't really noticeable. They don't have that many effects on them, but the weapon shots looked way better than I remember. I'm not sure if it's just me remembering it wrong or for some reason it's grown on me. I can't tell, but we've got Siege and Moors on the map. We've got a Ying, we've got a Knesset, and seemingly a Koga. I should actually probably go for Slugshot here. It would probably make more sense than uh, going for Fortress Breaker, but at the same time, the shield could be useful. But we also have a Torvald, so they're probably going to grab Wrecker. We have a pretty tryhard setup there with Torvald, Ash, Ying, and Essence in. They're going to have to get caught and wreck if they want to deal with what we got. We're up against a Nara, a Strix, a Maver Barrack, and a Grover. So they have a similar thing. They have double tank, healers, freaking sniper, and a flank. Okay, I see how it is. I guess we're going to have a tryhard timber mill today. Do I go for slug shot though, or do I go for Fortress Breaker? I'm not sure. I feel like I should go for slug shot so I can play further back and deal with the tanks at maybe a bit of a different angle so I don't have to be super close. You know what? Screw it. I might do three games. I'll do one with slug shot. The plan of today's video is thrown out the window. We got goddamn timber mills on the map with a team comp like this. Screw it. We're going for slug shot and then I'm going to go for the extra cooldown reduction on uh, the shield. Probably going to be more useful than the cooldown reduction on the F, which I don't imagine I'm going to be using very often unless I need to like chase or something. I'll start off with a uh, quarter rise and we'll leave it. I'll just grab court to start off. Guess we can go through talents. We've got life exchange, guillotine, eagle eye, field study, cat burglar, deep roots is going to suck, tinkering, crack shot, and a uh, mother's grace. I'm not sure if I should go for resilience or illuminate though. Healing ying, and then he said something else I think about DPS. I couldn't read it probably, but I need to run in. Guillotine zin should be really good, especially considering this is before he loses the damage immunity on it. I'm going to jump onto uh, the point and just fire some 400s. Not really sure what the hell I should do here. That is a goddamn Anara slow, which sucked. I'm going to F myself away. She actually didn't catch me in the wall. That was very lucky. Not really sure how the hell we expected to get back on the point there. That didn't feel like a 5v5 fight. I'm not sure if our Torvald was there straight off the bat. I think he was, but uh, no, I was trying to get on the point and I was up against both of the tanks on my own, which is why I'm not sure. Let's go ahead and I guess deal with the Grover who's in here. 400, 400. That is a cripple in a route. 400. Get a couple hits on the Inara from over here just to kind of poke her for 200. Okay, I'm not very accurate with Ash, as you can see. I'm not used to playing with this goddamn talent. Oh, hello, Strix. You're trying to run away. Does he know where I am? No, that's something I would have probably only been able to do with Slugshot. I guess we can fire at that Maeve as well. Nice. This talent's actually surprisingly decent. Sad thing is you do actually lose the effects on the weapon, so I 
can't really tell what this skin looks like. Ying is hitting me with uh, the decoy heal. I'm going to F myself over. Can I make that? Okay, that's something I've just learned there is a hit. There's another one. Oh, Head of Land, that should be gone. Maybe we can kill uh, the Grover instead. Oh, hello. Okay, nice. Thank you for the shield there, Grover. I don't think he buffed my damage. Oh, no, he did. Yeah, I was dealing 10 extra there. Can we kill these Strix as well? I'm trying to land a shot. I just saw him when he de invised for some reason. That is a bug. Not as bad as the fact that you can see some of Leanne's weapons through the wall. That's a particularly bad one. Hello, Barak. You are just back here? Why? <laughs> Not really sure where the hell I should place myself. Thank you there, Torvald. I think he's got four ammo gen in his setup. There's a hit for her. That was an Anara ult I didn't even hear. I'm not sure if I'm going deaf sometimes or if these ults are just really quiet. I don't know. There are more hits for him. He's actually nearly gone. We're actually doing pretty good so far. There's another one for her. There's another one. I'm actually going to use the F to get away here so that I don't die. I guess I should try and deal with the tanks to help out the Torvald and shit. I don't know. I also need to make sure I'm not in line of sight of that Strix because he can easily go through me. Actually, we can kind of fight back now that I think about it. He's actually lost like a couple fights against us already. I guess I could pop the ult here, but I feel like I should save it. This would be a really nice time to get that stun. I'm going to just try and focus the Strix a bit if I can. I feel like that's probably the most sensible option. And Nara is nearly gone. There is the shield. She's out. Nice. Zin is going. Zin is going in pretty hard. He's probably going to be able to get rid of at least somebody or he's going to escape. Strix is right there at the back on no health. Barak just dropped a little cheeky spray there. I'm not going to be able to hold this there. Here's the 1-1. One -one. Sure. I don't know why we had such a rough start there because we were easily able to defend that, but I'm glitching out. There's the 1-1. One -one. I'll go ahead and get some more quarter eyes. Don't really feel like I need to illuminate because I'm not playing close to the Strix at all. Kness is going for morale boost to court. We got caught on the Zin. Ying is obviously not going for it, but Torvald is going for Kronos, which I guess also makes sense. They're getting a decent amount of Haven because we are literally all direct here. I don't think we have a single thing of area damage. As far as I know, I don't think we do, no. I reckon it's going to kind of suck when they will have Max Haven, but they're not getting record other than the Strix. It's actually not been too bad so far. It definitely could be going worse. We're five minutes. Let's go into a round two. I'm going to just jump up top, even that's a bad idea, and try and play the point. Hello, enemy double tank. It'd be kind of cool if Slugshot made your shots go through people. That would make it way, way stronger. That is a ton of damage. Okay. Couldn't even really do anything about that. Anara just ran up and hit me with the F. She's not even going for Treacherous Ground. I got that wrong, by the way. She's going for Mother's Grace. I thought she was going for Treacherous Ground, but nah, she's not. I reckon Torvald might have actually been there the entire time on the first round, but he was just far back because he's playing far back now again. Oh, I just got denied, but there is the all. Oh, that's the slam. We actually managed to hold it. It didn't stun the Anara, obviously, but I'm now completely blind. I don't know what I'm doing, but I did get on the point, and it seems like that kind of worked. Again, definitely could have been worse. There is a hit for the Mave. This is janky. Anara's back there. Grover's now up top. I'm trying to just hold them off so that they can't get free damage there. It's a poke for him. That's kind of the nice thing about this tank is I can actually poke that Strix. There's a couple more. There's the shield. There's a hit or two. He's actually going for an ult. That is Barak running in. I'm going to load up the right click and just throw him off. Okay. Nope. That's the stunt from Anara. I don't hear the sound effect for that. I don't know again if I'm going deaf or if that's quiet, but I have not heard that Anara sound effect very well either of the time she's used it. I am dead. They got the objective again. Seems like we're doing a pretty good job of holding it again. Don't know how I just hit that Mave that looked like I was off target. Okay, the Anara is also here. I'm going to charge up the right click and push her back. That didn't do what I wanted it to do, but there's a couple more hits. There is also the Q. I'm going to slowly wiggle back a bit. She's really trying to close me off her. i got to give her props for playing aggressively. That is a route. I'm gone. I was trying to ride up the right click. Didn't even realize Grover was close enough to do it. There goes Torvald. Ying is at the back. Ying's been doing a pretty damn good job so far. She's getting harassed now by uh, the Mave. Seems like she's just won the fight, though. Nice. Zin is on left to give her a hand. She is somehow still up. I have no idea how she lived. I reckon I'm going to stay up here. There's no point me pushing up. I feel like this is a pretty good spot for me to be with Slugshot Ash. The Grove is throwing out some axes. We can actually hit the Anara from over here, so I should be permanently firing out shots. That's a Strix blind that hit me. I don't even know. Anara is going for an ult. That is Mave. I don't know what the hell my plan is. She fell off, so I just round up my right click for nothing. There's some more hits. That barrack is nearly gone. Grove is going for an ult. We should get some hits on this Anara. I'm going to go ahead and pop an ult. Might be unnecessary, but that should give us a stun. I went for the ult just to get the damage immunity. I'm currently up against two tanks. There's a shield. I probably should have waited to use that, because again, I'm damage immune. What's wrong with me there is a right click that didn't knock the Anara and I am dead. Probably should have been paying more attention to the goddamn kill feed because the Tolvar died, although he reappeared there for a second and Okanessa died. There goes Ying and that is the 1-3. Sure, defense failed. Zin just said, I feel like nothing is taking damage. Yeah, it's definitely been kind of rough so far. The Anara is super tanky. Strix is at the back. I can't do all that much against him. Barak isn't particularly annoying. Grover's healing has been a pain in the ass though. I'm trying to finish off Cauterize. If we'd got that up and running first, we would be in a bit of a better spot. Tolvar went for Kronos first, which is kind of understandable. Kinesa for some reason went for the morale boost and Haven, which I don't get, and Zin went for morale boost as well. I already got my health knocked down once as I tried to hold the point, because we do need this, because it is 1-3. I'm blinded by the goddamn Mave. I'm going to throw the Q up there and get some hits onto this Grove. I was going to call him Torvald there. He just tried to root me. I don't know why. I'm going to F myself over here. Luckily, the Inara didn't block me. I'm surprised that didn't actually happen, because usually you can get blocked from behind. But Inara kind of walled off. I'm surprised I can't slide a shot through. I actually just did there, so, so I guess we got it. I think Inara is still just here. Indeed, she is. We can get some more shots into her. She is definitely dead. She's actually accidentally staggered herself here because 
now she's going to be really far behind her team for the rest of this round. Well, Strix is gone. Nice. It's just this Maeve left, who I, for some reason, cannot hit. Oh, I guess I was hitting that little piece of wood that I can barely see. That is Grover also hitting me. That is Barak trying to run in. He's nearly gone. He was a second too late there, like a millisecond too late. We got the objective. Nice. That Sonara pushing up there is knockback. That didn't work because you're CCMU. You really just don't like me, huh, Anara? I can kind of deal with you on my own because I have lifesteal and stuff, but it's your teammates that really give me trouble. I'm going to actually just hit you straight in the face with the thing and pop the queue up. She's actually nearly gone. Guess I'm technically winning this team fight. Yeah, sure. She's probably dead. She really doesn't like me, though. Yeah, there we go. There goes Anara. <laughs> Barak is over there on no health. Can I get a dink to him? All right, there we go. Somebody else got it. Zin ulted the Maeve, and seems like we're making this push. Four of them are out. Do I stand on the point or do I push up? I'm going to push up. That is Strix up there as well. I can actually fight back pretty well against the Strix and also the Grover at range. I have way better range than I think I'm kind of realizing here. There, some more hits. I dismounted that Barak. I got one on the Maeve as well there. Hits for the Strix. Do I push up on him? Is this a bad idea? Oh, I'm totally dead. Yeah, that root just bodied me. I really should be paying more attention to that curve root because that's killed me a couple times. I'm going to go ahead and grab Cauterize and also Resilience 2 because that should help me with the Anara slow on the F. It should help me with the Grover root. It should help me also with the Mavel. Does Resilience help with Mavel? I can't remember right now off the top of my head. I think it might do. It's been a long day. I genuinely don't remember. Let's get some hits onto the Grover as we fall back. I guess he's top priority, so I should focus getting hits on him as much as I can. I'm totally dead. I'm going to try and just hit her so she's far away. Way. I'm not really sure what I'm doing. There's another knockback for her. I'm just holding myself here on like 300 health. I'm gone. I probably should have just let myself die so I could be freaking respawned faster. Seems like we're starting to get quarterize up and running. Zin's finished it off. I think Kinesa has as well. Let's get a hit on to this Grover. He's actually kind of low. That route still feels like it lasts a decent amount of time. He is gone. Push failed, but maybe I can take Grover out. Nice. Was that worth it? I'm probably dead. I'm going to try and escape for some reason that still went forward, but I guess it's whatever. We all have our ultimates up. Well done, team, for saving him. Literally every single one of us is ready to go, but yeah, now that we've got quarterize up running it should help out i still don't know why torvald hasn't finished it i don't know why he's gone for 10 percent extra heals instead of finishing off court i feel like the stats page for this one is going to be kind of interesting zin's morale boost should be useful Ying's also getting morale boost running which should also help out still not sure how i feel about resilience i don't know if it was a good decision or not this mave is really kind of annoying i'm gonna f myself away never mind that anara just blocked me there it's a knockback for just to give a bit of distance i'm gonna go for an insta ult that was super cheesy but i, I guess that's what a lot of people do so it worked we got rid of the mave and we do need this cap so i'm gonna pull out any cheesiness i can that ammo regen just threw me off. Strix is really, really up close for some reason. He's getting super punished for being that close. There is a right click. We'll knock back off of the point. Okay, that kind of worked, although I did help him escape. Anara going for an ult. What am I being blocked by on the left? A turret? Can you be blocked by a goddamn barrack turret? That's something I just learned. There is a queue for the two ammo gen that actually came through super clutch. Thank you, Todd, for uh, the shield. Barrack has got very little health. He's going for an ult. He's actually still up. Again, this is kind of accidentally staggering him, so cool. Okay, I'm going to push up and maybe get rid of that Strix. I'm going to go for it with this Zin. Oh, that is is Grover. Okay, he dismounted himself early. There goes the Strix. We can get some hits onto uh, the Maeve. This is actually a pretty good spot for me to be in. There's a couple more hits. Thank you, Torvald, for uh, the ammo regen. Can I finish her off? She's got such little health. There's the queue for the ammo regen. Oh, shit, that actually worked. Anara is now on the point. As long as Torvald sits on there, we should be fine. Science coming through clutch. She is out. Kind of funny that I'm playing as like a mid-range character right now. Mid-range to long range, honestly. I'm going to pop the F and just get myself away from that shitty situation. 3-3. Three, three. Let's go for the push, boys. going to be a long goddamn video. I'll tell you that much. Hello, Grover. There's my shield. I'm going to push up. I'm going to actually chase with uh, the air. Probably not a good idea. Never mind. Get bodied. Okay, Strix just dinked me. Well, I'm technically getting ticked here. I'm just going to wait until I can get out of combat. I'm actually going to stay here. Should I F myself through the portal? Yeah, screw it. Maybe I'll hit somebody. That did not work, but now I'm in a position. I suppose. I don't know if it's good or bad just yet, but I guess it's fine. The Anara F really doesn't bother me now with Resilience. I'm kind of glad I went for it. That barracks really, really low. Nice. I don't know what happened there. Zin and him were seemingly having a standoff. That was strange. Let's get some hits onto uh, the Grover who's trying to escape. Kinesa, can you hit Grover? I'll call it enemies on right. I'm going to keep pushing this point and get some hits over to Grover. No, I'm not. I'm probably going to die. There's a hit on Maeve. How am I still up? How am I not dead? I don't know. There's a hit for Grover, which didn't register. There is the shield. I'm going to try and fight back. I don't know exactly what he's doing. Uh, I guess he's low. I'm going to hope the team can go deal with him. Nice. So I went ahead and finished him off. Me and Torvald are over here. I'm getting some hits onto her. Oh, Barak, you are here. Oh, I'm probably dead. Torvald coming through with the clutch shield. There is also a Q, so nobody can hit me. I'm going to just stand behind this. Thank you for the heals, Ying. I guess I should fire some stuff out. That is the Maeve up top. Okay, trying to get the cheeky angle. I see how it is. I, I see what's going on. Guess I'll keep trying to get this pressure Maeve up top again trying to get these real cheeky angles I got to give him props for it but damn it's kind of annoying there's some hits onto her I should not really bother when she's got the damage reduction I'm gonna try and pressure the Strix instead no I'm not because the barracks right in my face and Maeve's behind me I guess I'll die instead guess I can go ahead and finish off resilience I'm also going to go ahead and finish off Haven I'm not sure if it makes a ton of sense but I really do feel like that's a reason why we're losing a lot of these team fights is because they have so much goddamn Haven their team is also mostly direct hit pretty much like 80% direct hit uh, Knessa can you please not die god damn it I should have thrown my cure out a little bit earlier kind of my fault that she died there probably could have saved her 
hello Grover, you are here. There is a knockback for you. I'm gonna use the F and try and retreat. I'm probably dead. Oh, maybe not. No, we're fine. Okay, a push failed. I don't think we would have got that in the overtime. Anyway, we're gonna get May Fripp, so sure, 3-3. Three, three. We've once again all got our ultimates. I feel like we have quite a conservative team. They seem to have quite an aggressive team. It's pretty opposite, to be honest. I'm not sure who's gonna end up winning here, but it's been a good game regardless. As long as we don't crash, everything should be good, and I'm really hoping that I didn't just jinx it. Gonna pop the F and retreat already. I probably should have saved it, but I guess it's kind of useful for me to be far away because I can actually deal decent damage at range there. Some more hits for the Grover. I just traded three and he didn't hit one. Okay, there. Some hits onto the Anara. I don't know if there's even any point in me hitting you when you're damage reduction. That's a new sentence there. Some more hits onto her. There is the Q. It's also not a her. It's a Grover. And get Torvald for the ammo. I really do need to step on the point though because Torvald really just doesn't like the objective. He is going for an ult. I'm going to just knock him back that way. That kind of work. Torvald is going for uh, the ult. I'm going to chase with the F. Never mind. He's dead. Seems like the conservative playstyle kind of works. I pulled up the Q trying to block the cripple, but he didn't even go for it. Oh my god, that's annoying. I nearly finished him off. There's some hits onto the Maeve. I don't really know why you're playing so aggressively. There's a hit onto you. What the hell kind of rubber banding was that game? What the hell is that? Stressful situations like this and you're going to give me rubber banding. I'm going for the ult. There is the stun. I don't know if that made sense. I really wasn't expecting the Grover to ult. Anara is going for her ult. I'm going to load up the right click and just chuck her. That didn't work because she has damage reduction there. There's the shield. There's the F. There's some hits onto him. Load up the right click. Knock him off. Why didn't the right click fire? Why am I getting bugs that I didn't experience throughout the match? Like right at the end. I had some really weird stuff just happen. I went for master riding. The effect is bugged on me. We're on overtime. Gonna need somebody to step on it. Okay, the overtime meter is just spamming itself to death. Not sure if this is actually gonna go to us or not. I'm gonna hope that we can get it, but I'm not too confident there is a knockback. There is an F. I'm just gonna hit him to try and keep him off. This Canessa is landing shots. Gonna get some hits into the Grover at the back. I'm dead and there we go. There is the win for him. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure they got it. Yeah, there's a defeat. I feel like they deserve it as a team overall, to be honest. Even though I definitely wouldn't attribute it to their aggressive play style, because like I said, we had very different ones throughout that match. I feel like they just played better as a team and I feel like it was very often throughout that match me versus both of the tanks at once which definitely didn't help but Anara had top play she got rid of the Knesset she got rid of the Ying I think she also got an assist on me and maybe somebody else fair enough and there we go there are the stats for game two shout outs to Sam31 I do respectfully decline but shout outs to him that was the enemy Anara I definitely got that feeling throughout the game with how much he was goddamn pushing up on me and being super aggressive also what is happening to Strix I know he likes to hard scope like often I know Strixes do that but that is like a whole new meaning to hard scoping I suppose I don't know how to make a good joke out of that, but we'll go through the stats top at the bottom. Uh, Torvald did pretty decent. He shielded for 160k. Props to uh, the Torvald. I would have loved to have him play the objective more. He did save my ass a bunch of times with the cube. Like I said, I felt like I was often 1v2 against both the tanks, which is definitely not fun. His damage stat definitely represents that with only 42k, which is the lowest in that entire game. Uh, Zin did pretty good. A lot of that damage is from his ultimate, but he overall did a pretty good job. Kinesa definitely could have done better. I feel she didn't do badly, but she definitely could have done better. And Ying did a great job as well. 173k. That was a really even game. It was pretty down to the wire but I feel like overall as a team they synergized better. Their healer synergized a little bit worse than Ai Ying I would say but their Anara did a good job. Their Strix was a better sniper in my opinion than uh, Kinesa although it's kind of hard for me to judge obviously and their Barrack did pretty good. He doesn't have the best ever but he did play the objective a ton and Maeve was pretty average for that match so I wouldn't say she did very well. I wouldn't say she did badly either. I feel like she was just kind of average maybe a little bit over. Funny thing to note though is uh, Torvald does technically have more objective time than me and I'm giving him a little bit of crap for not playing the objective with me but uh, the really important thing to note is I was pushing up a lot there when we had the objective like secured and we weren't too worried about the team and we were trying to kind of zone them off a little bit and Torvald was the guy who was sitting back on the point who he was pushing the objective but I feel like in team fights he was sitting at the back just throwing out his cue which is kind of what you do as Torvald but I'd have liked to see him maybe be a little bit more involved definitely props to him he did not play badly but I feel like that was a reason as to why we lost and it's kind of the only perspective I've got because I did play as a frontline I'm quite happy with my damage and my stat overall 55k shielding isn't crazy but it's not terrible my 125k damage is the joint second highest with uh, the strikes Zin has higher, obviously he was going for guillotine, he's going to have a ton of damage against double tank. I was planning on doing three games, but damn, that second match was long and I really don't have all that much energy left. I didn't show off Fortress Breaker, Ash, I kind of did in that second match there, but one thing to note is most situations in the upcoming patch, Slugshot is not going to be a better choice and Fortress Breaker will be. I'm sure you've also seen other people play with Fortress Breaker, so it doesn't matter that I didn't go for that one because it is the most popular. Although funny enough, it probably would have been a 50-50 split up for me on Timmermill with the setups we had, whether to go for Slugshot, even if it didn't give uh, the damage buff, just because of how long an open siege freaking timber mill is that I feel like it probably would have been a decent choice anyway and it worked out fine for us in the end I got a bunch of extra damage and some pretty decent plays because of the talent it did definitely enable some different play styles for Ash we played her as kind of like a mid to long range character which is a bit weird for me I hope you have enjoyed today's video I certainly have this has been a ton of fun uh, for me I'll see you guys all really really soon of course let me know what you want to see me do next and as always stay frost there